Hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Coming at you from the back garden again. Yes. Um, so today we've got a couple of ring paws that I'm going to do on a canvas. Oh nice. Yeah, now listen, you've all seen us do ring paws. You're sitting there probably <laughs> thinking to yourself, we've seen you do ring paws a million mm. times. Like, give us something new. So, I'm going to wreck my ring with a marble. What? Right. You know, first off, you're all sitting there thinking, what the heck is Lee doing wrecking a ring? <laughs> because Jeremy is the king of the wrecked ring. Now, that may well be true, but I have stolen the title for myself of the lover of the marble paw. So um, I'm going to use a marble to wreck my two rings that I'm going to do on a canvas mm. just to see what effect I can get. I did this for the Patreons on a live stream yes. exclusively for those guys this weekend. Yep. So one of the perks of being a certain level, a gold member and above is you get one live stream a month yep. where we kind of, we, we do a live stream, but it's only the Patreons that can join. Yeah. And I tried it and it worked out really well. Yeah. So I'm yeah, excited yeah. to do this again on a slightly bigger canvas with different colors. Yeah. And what are you doing, Sir Jeremy? I think I'm going to be doing a dirty cup pour. Uh-huh. Yes. Or are you doing a straight pour with a dirty cup? Tomato, tomato. <laughs> you say pavement, I say sidewalk. Uh, yes. Well, whatever yes. it is that you so, end up doing is going to be amazing. Yeah, so I, I am. I'm going to be doing a, a straight pour with a dirty cup. And yeah, something, okay. something got like a clip. That. We'll see what happens. It's going to wing it. It's going to wing it at the table. <laughs> so, whatever happens, you're going to see two canvases. You made me snort. I did make you snort. <laughs> it's because you're still not feeling well. That's what it is. Uh, yes. So, you're going to see us pour two canvases at the table with some fun acrylic paints. Yes. And we've got some beautiful blues and greens for you today. Oh my God, the colors are gorgeous. Really fun. Yeah. So, listen, less waffle from us. Um, only thing to remind you is. Is May the 16th, we've got the switcheroo, the great mm -hmm. switcheroo, part four. Ourselves, Tammy, Canella, and B.R. Turner Art, yes. who is the king of the marble. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to go to the table, start pouring up some nice, fun pours for you, and we'll see you at the very end. We can talk about it. Yeah. Let's do absolutely. it. Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, guys. We'll see you there. Let's get to the table. Okay, people, so in Oakland, we had planes, trains, and automobiles, but here in Dallas Plano, in the burbs, we have weed whackers and lawnmowers. So um, <laughs> I apologize for the background noise, but it is what it is. People have the right to mow their lawns whenever they want. Why on a, on a Monday? Because it suits them. Maybe they work all weekend. You never I'm know. Like, I'm like, whatever. So I, under Jeremy's supervision have picked some really fun colors today and we've gone very blues and greens yes with a couple of really funky colors thrown in so let me tell you what we've got today for this 18 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas so we have one of jeremy's favorites arteza pearl lime green we have arteza pearl marmalade Ooh. We have one of my favorites, Liquitex V6 Brilliant Blue. And one we haven't used before, which I'm really excited about, because we made this color ourselves, is the Liquitex Basics, and this is Iridescent Graphite. Mm. Super cool. Now, we haven't used this Maker Paints before, so I'm really excited about this one. This is the Grombacher Academy Acrylics, and this is their Turquoise Green. And I see that one on Canela's channel a lot. Mm. Then we also have the Master's Touch, and this is Ocean Green, which I really love. I'm really excited about really that. Really pretty color. And oh, I should have said that to the Grumbacher, I also mixed some of the Pebeo Studios, the iridescent blue green. So I mixed, mixed this iridescent blue green in with that Grumbacher color. And then we've also got 24 karat gold, just in case nice. we need it. So the plan, as you've already heard, is, is that I'm gonna do a wrecked ring. Now you all gasp and stand back and clutch your pearls. I know you are, because Jeremy is the king of the wrecked ring. However, I'm gonna wreck my ring with a marble. 
So um, I tried this on our Patreon live stream at the weekend and it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. It came out really great. For those that don't know, our Patreons at certain levels get to join us for a private live stream. So we had a lot of fun with our Patreons at the weekend. Um, so I'm going to use this ball on this canvas to wreck my rings and I'm going to do two of them. So, Jeremy, I'm going to first off layer my cups. I'm really excited about these beautiful colours. So I'm going to layer this first one. I'm going to do two cups, but I'm going to just do one for you guys and then I'll do the other one. And well, I'm going to do it exactly the same way. So this is my brilliant blue. And I'm going to do a very small layer of it right next to the ocean green. Because this, as you all know, is going to be what's going to come out at the very end of the cup. With a tad of marmalade. Then this is my turquoise green and Pabeo Studios mix. So I'm going to go a little heavier handed now. And here's the pearl lamb green, which I really love. And next to that, I'm going to do some of the iridescent graphite. Look how cool that color is. Okay, so back with the blue, ocean green. And then this time with a very small amount of gold. Just a little touch. Reckon with my mixture of my own making. Next to this lovely lime green. I'm gonna do some marmalade this time. And then I think just one more layer will suffice. Tiny, tiny little layer. I'm going to finish it off. With the pearl lime green. Okay, that is my cup. I'm going to do another one in exactly the same way. All right, so here's my two cups. Laid almost identically the same way. They were in the, the same colours, but I did use the different kind of middle colour, i.e. the gold, the marmalade, or the graphite. But let's do this. So first off, I'm going to do a ring here, then a ring here. I might not even use all the paint that's in this cup. We'll see what happens as I pour. Jeremy, I'm going to do it right here. I'm ready. Okay, I did use pretty much all the paint in the cup. That's really pretty. But I needed to. Gonna do the next one just right here. Alright, so that's my two little puddles sitting on my canvas. Next, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to surround them both with a very thin layer of gold. And then next, I'm taking my flow mix. So my flow here is just the Grombacher turquoise blue. The color in the pot was mixed with the iridescent green blue by Pabeo. So this is just the turquoise on its own. Now I'm gonna flood my canvas all around.
All right, so I've got these two lovely green and blue boobies sitting on my canvas. Now I'm going to take my marble and we're going to wreck the rings. So let's see how this goes. I think that's all I want to do. I think that's all I want to wreck. Okay? So, it is now officially what we call here on Massey Art Studios, Dutton Time. Dutton Time. So let's tilt this one out and see what we've got. I have seen this room and walked this floor before And the walls know every story I have told Memories play front of me I see them clearly A life I won't hide is sealed in this house of concrete and stone And I know though I'm growing on it can never be untold The past it is written in stone All right, ladies and gents, so that's me done. 
It's amazing. Well, thank you, baby. This yeah. is my double ring pour wrecked with a marble. Um, and I really, really do love it too. Um, I do love the lines that I've got going through this mm -hmm. and that marble really helped accentuate, accentuate the lines. Yeah. Um, I love the little gold cells that are popping up and that was probably because I put the ring of gold around the mm. colors. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of interest in this one, but it's not too much, I don't think. So, why don't I do this? Just so you can see what I'm seeing. I'm gonna get my edges, I'm gonna torch this one last time, and then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Thank Same. you guys. Fantastic. Okay guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm really excited about this. I have right here this beautiful beaker in front of me and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a dirty cup pour. So I have all my colors here that Lee just used and showed you um, and I'm going to be pouring into a base of white um, and, and then straight, straight pouring, it. pouring it. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to layering my cup. I'm excited that you pour it into white. Yeah. That should be good. All right. I'm gonna actually start out with this. Okay. That was my mix of turquoise and the Pabello Studios. Yes. Now you can go fairly heavy handed with all these colors because you've got a lot of color to put in there. Got it. Do not be afraid, other than the gold. <laughs> Cause that you know just, what gold does. Uh, that I do. So you need 16 ounces at least of paint. Which okay. is, as you can see, it's the, I don't know if you can see, but the 16 ounces is pointing towards me. Yes. This is going to be very interesting. It is. I'm interested to see what that marmalade is going to do. Mama. More blue, more blue, more blue. I really love that brilliant blue. From right up to high, I love it. Yes. So the higher that you can pour into this cup, the more it's gonna mix with all the colors below it. Interesting. All right, sir. That is one beautifully dirty layered cup. I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen. Yeah, me too. This. As you straight pour this out onto the canvas. Yes. Here is my cup, ladies and gentlemen. It is almost overfloweth. Everyone out there. Okay, so. You're gonna straight pour this bad boy. I am gonna straight pour this bad boy.
Ooh. I mean, if ever there was a world on a canvas, it's there, folks. In this, wait, what is it? The earth on a canvas. <laughs> In a world. In a world. <laughs> All right. Now that I got that laid down, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my flow extender around it. So that way we can go ahead and get this going. All right, guys. So I got my all my flow extender out on here. I had to use my hands, <laughs> but it's That's all what they're good. For. Yes. That's what they're for. So I'm really interested in this. I, I hope that I put enough gold and enough of that marmalade to give it some like pop. Pop. We will so, see. Yeah, we'll see how what happens because when I, I believe out, when I tilt it out that there is something called tilting time. Yes. That's about to happen. Yes. And it is tilting time.
Okay guys, there you have it. I am so excited about this piece. It came out so different than anything that I was like thinking of or expecting. Um, these little gold cells that are popping up all through here are so cool. And I love, I just, this whole thing that's going on, like these waves, you know, it's like- You've got a square cell. I do have a How square How do you manage cell. to get a square cell? I don't cell. know. I have no idea. That's crazy cool. But yeah, I just, I'm really, really liking this. Um, you it know, this reminds me of it, an abalone shell. It was so interesting that you chose to pour into the white and this is the kind of like this cloudy, ethereal, like yeah. watery, earthy kind of pour. It's really yeah. stunning. I love it. I, really I love the, this uh, marmalade that right. goes through here. Um, well, all right. That's me. I'm done. You're gonna right, take, take him, in. him for a close up. That's right, Absolutely. let's get those edges. Yes. All right. So you yeah, did do a straight pour <laughs> with the dirty cop. I yes, I did. You did. I did. Okay. <laughs> How was it? How did you like it? Um, I loved it. I thought it came out great. Um, there were some really interesting definition and lines, and like it was so like abalone shellish. Like it just really came out, you know, under the sea. It was. Well, it was yeah. like, but it was also like topography. Like it was like Kinda, yeah. when you poured it, it looked like the earth which was amazing and then when you stretched it out you got those really fun layers yeah. of that graphite and that yeah. it was pearl marmalade. It. and yours thank you yeah was amazing i loved it too i i really did like it those colors in that ring pour weren't as defined they weren't as definite as i thought they were mm. going to be um yeah. but then we did choose some kind of like pearls and some kind of like really light colors but i did really really enjoy it yeah i did too and what i really enjoyed was using the marble to wreck the ring that was amazing, yeah. actually. That worked out so well. Because it did give me some really like thin lines as the marble kind of tracked through the colors. Really, yeah. really loved it. Why don't we take you in to see the wet result one last time? So there you have it folks, that there was one last look at the wet results. Now why is it wet results, not the dried results? Well, because we're pouring this one too late. <laughs> and we don't have time to allow the ones to dry, unfortunately. That was my bad, I wasn't feeling well enough. That wasn't your bad at all, it was no one's bad. You were just not feeling too great. Yeah. But I'm glad you're feeling better. I am feeling better. Thank you everyone who sent the hubby, the studio hubby, I know. well wishes. I know, thank you guys so much for cool. that. So if you didn't catch it, please go back and check out the Canelo Sirocco collab we mm. just did. Um, we just did a wonderful commission piece for Kira, which she's over the moon mm -hmm. with. And there's about another 130 episodes that we've got that you guys can go and take yeah. a peek at if you so wish. Yeah. Um, we really appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, and you are watching to this point, please consider subscribing. It means everything to us, it, it really does. Really does. Yeah. And um, also, please consider checking out the Patreon account. It's completely separate to the YouTubes, has no impact on your viewing pleasure right here. But as a Patreon, you do get certain perks, and there might be something there that tickles your fancy. Yes. So, please come back and join us on Friday for another premiere. We hope you have a great Tuesday Eve, evening, and um, we look forward to seeing you at the end of the week on Friday, closing your week out with another pour. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll see you then. Bye, guys. Have a great week. Bye. So there are some extra special people that we want to say thank you to, and that's to our Patreons. Uh, or, as we like to call them, the Massey Posse. Now, the Patreon account is something completely separate to the YouTube channel, but it allows a certain few of you the opportunity to have a little bit of a closer look at the studio. Yes. And there are various levels. So, at one level, you might get to see sneak peeks and behind-the-scenes videos. What? You might get up the opportunity to join us on our live WhatsApp chat group where we swap pictures and talk about techniques. Yes. Um, at a certain level, you get invited to once a month tutorials where we focus on a specific technique and we do it on a live stream, as well as separate live streams as well. Yeah. And for our diamond pourers, which is our highest tier, those guys get to pick the colors for one episode that we shoot on the YouTube channel, and then they get to pick one of the 11 by 14 canvases yes. to keep every single month. So we do have some people to thank, and that's at the gold level, we have Nate Bright, we have Gloria Solonki, AKA Glitzy, we have Jane Klein, Trisha West, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Janice Swansea. Nice. On the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver. Thank you, Leslie. And then at the diamond level, Laurie Finzer, AKA Sparkles, Sparkles, who you all know and love. So thank you very much to all you guys. And then also thank you to everyone else down here below at the other levels. Yes. We absolutely appreciate you and thank you for being with us here on this journey.